hello guys in this video we are going to use microsoft graph red totally private totally local with olama i already have done a couple of videos on graph red so if you're interested to learn more about has how to install it with open ai and what exactly its architecture in detail is please search the channel and you should be able to find few videos around it i'm also hoping that you already have olama installed Olama is one of the easiest and fastest way to run large language models locally. I also have done heaps of videos on it, so please search the channel. And if you don't know how to install it, it's fairly simple. Go to Olama's website, click on download. And then if you're using Windows, download the exe file of window and just do next, next, next for Linux. Simply click here, grab this command, paste it in your terminal and Olama will be running sweet and easy. So that is what Olama is. Coming back to GraphRag, let me give you a quick introduction around GraphRag and then we will look at the demo as how to install it and use it with Olama. GraphRag is a new RAG technique. What is RAG? RAG is Retrieval Augmented Generation. What RAG does is that it provides additional information or additional context to your model. For instance, all of these large language models, whether they're open source or they are closed source through API, they don't know about your personal information. For example, they don't know about me. If you want your model to know about yourself, and if someone asks a question about yourself and you want your model to answer about it, then you need to provide it your own personal information or same is valid for your business use cases where you want to use your business information with your own models. That is what RAG does. RAG enables you to provide that information to the model. And the way it works is that, for example, if I put my all personal information into a text file, then I will first divide that text into smaller chunks. That is called as chunking. Then I will convert the, those chunks into numerical representations. They're also called as vectors or embeddings. Then we store those vectors and embeddings into a database called as vector store. And then we build an index on those vectors so that whenever someone asks about me in their query or in their prompt, first that index is searched for similar answers. And then that similar answer to the prompt is combined or augmented with the prompt. And that thing, whole thing augmented prompt is given to the LLM. And then LLM not only has a user's query, but now it is more grounded its response into the similar search which it did in the vector store so not only it goes out to internet or its own training data to get more information about that but it also gives the information in the context of your own personal data so that is what rag does now what microsoft does has done it they have given us this graph rag now graph rag what it does is that it creates a graph around the information so for example, in this diagram, we know that there are three entities. So for example, your text data contains this information about Alice, about Bob, about Charlie. Now, in your text, you might not have exactly mentioned what is the relationship of all of these people is. Now, just suppose that as for the sake of discussion, that all of these people, Alice, Bob and Charlie are related to each other. Alice is friend with Bob, Bob is friend with Charlie, and Charlie is friend with Alice. So what happens is that in a graph databases, we have these entities or nodes, and they the relationship is shown on the uh, graph on these lines. So what graph rag does is it goes into your text, it identifies these entities and its relationship, and then store it as is in the vector store. So whenever a query is made to your data, then graph rag is more grounded, more able to identify the relationships too. And that is how it returns more valid response. And I have explained it in more detail in my other video. So please search it out. Now, hopefully you know more about rag, about graph rag and what exactly it does. So let me take you to my local system and then we will get it installed. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring 
the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable price, I will drop the link to their website in video description. And I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and then my GPU card is this NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GP of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. I already have installed Olama. So if I do Olama list, it is running. I already have downloaded few of the models, but I'm not going to use this model, but I'm going to use a different model. But before that, let me create a Conda environment. Conda is a tool to create a virtual environment which keeps everything simple and separate from your local installations I, and I would highly recommend it. So here I am creating a Conda environment called as Graph Olama. Let's wait for it to finish and you can see that not only it is created, it is also activated. So I have cleared my screen. Let me also first install Olama from the pip and that is done. Let me clear the screen. Now let's download two models because for this we need two models first it to do the inference with the model for that i'm going to use mistral let's wait for it to get downloaded through olama shouldn't it take too long it is going to download the model and then it is going to verify the checksum of that model so that to be sure that model is all right that is almost done And now it is verifying the checksum model is all downloaded next we need to download embedding model which actually converts our data into numerical representation as i described earlier so let's wait for it to finish that one is also done let me clear the screen and now if you do olama list you will see we have mistral and we have this nomic embed now make sure that if you don't want to use mistral you want to use any other model feel free to do so but make sure that the context length is 32k it doesn't work with llama 3 because the context length which is primarily the data a model can handle in one time if it is less than 32k it won't work with this graph rack because it's not supported it only supports 32k one so that is why I'm using Mistral here and there are heaps of other models which are 32 QA length and you can check this information on the model card on Hugging Face. Okay, so models are loaded and Olama is all ready. Let me clear the screen now and let's install the graph rack by simple doing pip install graph rack. So let's wait for it. And graph rack is also installed. Let me clear the screen. And now let's create a directory you can just name it as anything you like this is where we are going to put our input file or the files where i will be including personal data so what i'm going to do it i'm just going to use my own personal data and i will do the rag with it and i already have created a very simple text file for .txt. i am copying it here let me also show you that file that file just contains information about me my youtube channel where i live and all that stuff because Mistral doesn't know about me, so hopefully it will be able to get that information from this path.txt. So that is all done. Let me clear the screen. And now let's initialize our graph rack. Initialize means that it creates a couple of files. So I'm just using graph rack dot index that in, that um, and in, I'm initializing it with dash dash in it. And then I'm specifying the directory which we have just created. Let's press enter here and it is going to initialize it. Let's wait. Takes few seconds. And initialize is done. Now, if you let me press enter here, let's go into that rag test. If I do ls ltra here, it has created these two files dot env and settings.yml. You don't have to worry about dot env because dot env, if I just show you it contains the open AI's api key but because we are not using open AI, so you don't need to do anything with it the file which we are concerned with is called as settings.yml now let me open this settings.yml but so this is where we need to make changes to make it olama enabled if you look at this file by default it uses open model gpt4 and then 
also if you scroll down for embedding it uses open as em embedding model test text embedding three small but we don't want to use these we want to replace this gpt 4o model with our mistral model and we want to replace the embedding model with nomic embed model so how do we use that for that let me take you to my vs code and then show you the altered file let me open my vs code and i will replace the settings.yml with this file which you see here now let me quickly show you that give me a sec now if you look here what is happening that sorry not this one rather this file so in this one where it says that model gpt 40 i have replaced it with mistral and then i have uncommented this file and i have uh, given this path and this is the default um, url on the your local system where where your olama runs if your olama is running on any other port then 11434 just replace it with it but mine is running on this so that is all you need to change for this section and you don't need to change anything else and then if you scroll down for embedding one all you need to do is to change here this is saying snowflake architect but we need to just change it to the nomic embed text because that is what i am using so nomic embed text and you can go with any embedding model at olama as far as it is 32k and i have tried it with both it works with both snowflake arctic and this nomic embed text so i'm just going to give here nomic embed text model which we already have downloaded and by the way don't worry about this file i'm going to put all of the commands and files i'm using in my blog and i will give you the uh, link in video's description so that you can simply copy paste and then another thing is that i'm again api basis the local host where my olama is running okay so this is all you need to change so let's go back and i'm going to change it in my terminal i'm just going to replace this file and then save it i have made the changes in settings.yml and this is my new file as you can see that i have changed the model to mistral this is the api base and then if i scroll down this is my nomic embed text and then again the api base here and i have haven't changed anything else at all it's all same and simple okay so let me exit from this file and now let me clear the screen okay next step is to find a file where we need to make the code changes and now before i show you that let me give a disclaimer this is a totally unsupported um, method this is a hack so don't expect it to be uh, working in the future or maybe you know microsoft doesn't support it i have just gone in and changed the code to make sure that it is working with olama uh, so let me show you what I did. First, you need to find this file on your operating system where it is OpenAI embedding LLM. So when we install the graph rack, it all this file also gets installed. So you need to find where it is, and then there it is. So we need to go to this directory, or maybe I'll just show you this file because I need to make this changes to this file. So I I open it. So this is a file. This is the whole file we need to replace. And let me take you, let me actually show you here um, where it is easy as where I'm. So all I have done here is, sorry, so this is what it, this file is using. It is using OpenAI and we need to convert it to make sure that this uses Olama. So let me show you what I have done this file in my VS code. It is easier to explain there. So this is a file and here I have imported Olama. And then in this whole code, I have changed, it, changed uh, made the change to nomic embed text model, as you can see, line number 33. So that is all you need to do. But there are a few other coding changes too. So you just copy the whole file and then you can paste it and replace, uh, and replace that file, which I just showed you. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to give you all the code. So don't worry about it. Make sure that indentation is all good. So I have exited from there. So let me change this file. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this file and put everything in um, top of it. I will just going to replace this file. And then let me clear the screen after doing that. So I have changed the file and you can see that here I have imported Olama 
and then the rest of the changes like i have changed that normal embedding text model okay so that is done let me exit from here and then i'm in the root directory which is correct so this is uh, all the configuration which we need to make as far as it in order to get it working with olama let's now try to run our pipeline so the what this pipeline is going to do uh, i'm just going to give it graph and rag dot index it is going to check our input folder grab our text file it will going to chunk it convert it to numerical representation store it and then it will go from there and it, this is first time it takes a bit of a time because it is doing a lot of things here so let's wait for it to finish it is still chunking and doing a lot of stuff if i take you up above it has done all of this stuff taken around 30 to 40 seconds and then now it is creating the reports let's wait almost there yeah it's all done beautiful okay so you see our setting is fine and now let's try to ask it a question so i'm just going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza let's see if it is able to answer me that first time it is going to take a bit of a time because it loads all the stuff there you go you see it is using the mistral model let's wait for it to come back and there you go so it has answered us perfectly well and if you see this is the answer it is talking about Fahad Mirza's focus on responsible AI and then all that stuff you know it just went into my file and grabbed this information plus it is telling us that for API base it used this Olama's API and then model was Mistral and that's all there is to it and this is the beauty of open AI's compatible APIs because <clears throat> as long as you use this API base you can use it with LM studio llama.cpp there are a lot of tools which use a similar sort of stuff so if you don't want to use olama you can simply replace it with lm studio and you can serve the model there replace the default port of lm studio is 1234 and then you can use it with that too but all in all you see that it works with olama again unsupported but we have the hack at least so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think um, and I did it all in real time, so there were some hiccups there, so my apologies, but I think this was really fascinating to see that um, this graph rack now works with local models because otherwise it can become really costly. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.